Hi, Russ from Aquarimax Pets here with Ruby to explain how my garter snake breeding plans for 2024 have changed. First of all, I have some bad news, and that is that the gold form Thamnophis sertalis parietalis that I had on breeding loan from Don's garter snake passed away about a week or so after it came out of brumation, which was very sad and took away the opportunity to produce some babies of that male with Ruby here. On the bright side, Ruby has her two mates that I've had, Rufus and Houdini. Also, of course, Thamnophis sertalis parietalis, all Mon Montana locality. And they will hopefully be producing some offspring uh, this spring, probably in May, if the uh, past litters or clutters or births have been any indication. Next, I have some news about these melanistic. Eastern garters. This is Thamnophis sertalis sertalis, the melanistic form. Well, I got these back in 2021 as small babies, and it was just about time for them to start breeding. But as I was putting them down into brumation, a thought recurred to me. I had already thought about this, that two of the snakes looked a little bigger, which I would expect them to do, since the females typically much larger than the males, but not a lot bigger. And that was a little concerning to me. Then, as I was prepping them for brumation, and these snakes started to smell some of the females of my other species of garter snake, or subspecies of garter snake, I uh, noticed that they were starting to exhibit courtship behavior, and the ones that, I had, that were slightly larger, and I thought were the females, were doing it too. So that was very concerning. And so right after brumation, I had Dawn probe them to determine their sex, so we would be sure. And it turns out I have four males. So this is the plan. I'm not going to be producing any melanistics this year, unfortunately, but I have already sent one of these males off to T, the original breeder of these snakes, uh, in trade. Um, he's going to be sending me um, some young melanistics uh, females and some other uh, snakes and so that we will get some breeding going in the future. And one of these will be going to Don. He has a young female melanistic as well from a different line. So we'll have some good bloodlines coming up in the future. I also have a young flame eastern, which is the same subspecies as the melanistics. And so uh, she's not ready for breeding this year, but she may be next year. And if she is, then uh, I'll be able to produce some het melanistics with uh, the flame gene as well which is not a simple recessive gene and so should express in that generation as flames. The melanistic is a simple uh, recessive gene and so that won't show up in that generation, but will in the future. So my plans have changed quite a bit, but I'm looking forward to developments in the future uh, with the snakes. Um, I'm excited for that. It's, it's a bit of a bummer that it's not happening nearly as soon as I had hoped, but that's just sometimes how it happens. It can be difficult to sex garter snakes when they're young sometimes, and uh, I'm just going to move forward with it and wanted to update you on that. If you do want to get on the list for some of the red-sided babies that I will have this year, if all goes well, then just please send me a message on Facebook, Messenger, Aquarimax Pets, or Instagram at Aquarimax Pets, or on the Aquarimax.com uh, contact form. Um, in order to give you a quote for shipping and so on, I will need your zip code because I do ship to your nearest FedEx hub through Ship Your Reptiles. And I will need at a minimum to get you on the waiting list, an email address, and your zip code. And uh, that will do it. Uh, I will eventually need your phone number as well to uh, ship the snakes to you, and of course some other information, but that will be enough to get you on the list. Once you're on the list, if you uh, decide that you don't want a snake that year, there's no problem. I will just take you off the list so you can keep me informed. Once the snakes are born, I generally reach out and contact everyone who has um, expressed interest and just ask them if, to confirm their interest. And uh, we go from there. So just a quick little uh, video to kind of update you on what's going on. Uh, thanks for watching. And I post videos every Friday with live streams on Wednesdays all about aquarium and vivarium pets. Please feel free to share rate, comment, and if you haven't already, subscribe. And then tap the bell for all notifications so you don't miss my next video.